In this example, let's suppose we have a person who, for some reason, jumps out of a perfectly good airplane, and they are going to use a parachute to make sure they don't go splat into the ground. Let's say we know the mass of the person, and make it 56 kilograms, and the person's acceleration um, in y, downward, 2.3 meters per second squared. I want to know what is the force of the person on the parachute. So how much is the person pulling on the parachute via these strings? So let's draw a free body diagram for both things involved in this, the person. Now, there obviously has to be air resistance somewhere in this problem, because otherwise we would just fall to the known acceleration due to gravity near the surface of the Earth. So we're not. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put all of that uh, drag force on the parachute. I am not going to talk about the person having drag force. I'm just going to collapse that all into the drag force on the parachute. Therefore, the forces on the person are gravity and tension. And the forces on the parachute, well, the parachute's attached to strings, so it's going to feel that same tension that the person feels, and it's going to feel some air resistance. Now, I'm also letting all of my gravity be in the person. I'm going to basically assume that the parachute is massless and that the person has no size. So no air resistance on the person, uh, no force of gravity on the parachute. Well, what can I do with this? I know something very important. These are the same strings that the person's holding onto and that are attached to the parachute. So this force of tension is the same everywhere. And I also know, because I'm given the acceleration and the mass, that I should think about Newton's second law, F net equals mass times acceleration. Well, we're only dealing with y here, so that's F net in y equals the person's mass times the acceleration in y. And F net is just the sum of the forces in y, which we can write out. In y, on the person, there is a tension force, and there is a gravitational force. Now, I could put the negative here, because these are obviously in opposite directions, or I could let my acceleration due to gravity be negative, in which case I should also have this acceleration be negative. If I remember right, in previous problems I've done it where I just said, okay, let's go ahead and put the negative here. Uh, in this one, I'll do it the other way, just so you can see it. I'll make the acceleration going down as negative, so down is negative and up is positive. We'll say that's M, A, Y. Well, we don't know what the tension force is. We're trying to find that, so let's go ahead and solve this equation for it. M, A, Y, minus F, G. Okay, I need F, G. Well, I have the person's mass, so then all I need is the uh, acceleration caused by the gravitational field near the Earth we all know, negative 9.8 meters per second squared. For my favorite estimation, 10. So Fg, if I think about mass, 56 kilograms, I just use my estimation of 10, negative 560 newtons. All right, then I'm ready to go here. Ft equals 56 kilograms, the person's mass. It's negative 2.3, 2.3 meters per second squared, the acceleration minus negative 560 newtons. And if I do out that math, I get about a 430 newton force. If you want to go back and do it with negative 9.8, I think you get about a 420 newton force, because we're dealing with uh, very large numbers, so that little difference can end up being kind of big overall. And WebAssign would probably want you to use that negative 9.8.